this evening's matchup between the Ravens and the Bills. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Bill Sims. And, Phil, we've prepared for this game by talking to the players and the coaches. What do you expect? Jim, you know, just talking to the coaches, talking to both of them, how fired up they were. So if the coaches are that fired up, can you imagine how the players are going to be? Their emotions are going to be at sky-high level. That means we are going to have a hard-hitting game. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. All right, now let's go to Danielle Bellini, who has more on today's game. Thanks, guys. The players actually went out of their way to praise the fans this week. They talked about how much they appreciate the noise level in this stadium and how they always feel like they have an edge at home because of it. And, guys, of course, the crowd has shown up once again today, and there's no doubt they'll be plenty loud for four quarters in this one. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Ravens' return team is ready. Set up to the 20-yard line. Flacco's a man who has certainly gotten better by the year. And can you believe it? Already 12 years in this league. First down coming up formation and a running play they bring him down at the 29 yard line and now let's take a look at the Ravens offense a coach's dream a week ago as this team never turned over the football once Joe Flacco will take it right from the center second and one him this time between plays let's take a look at how the bills defense the strength of this defense has been its ability to stop the run the bills lined up in the nickel Blacko's got it in the gun looking to the right side and throwing there's the tackle but still it's enough for the first down well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first down. They've got a first down now after that catch. They're going back up top. Torrey Smith with the catch. Well, you work all week long on a game plan if you're the offensive coordinator, and you come right out, and it works. Yeah, it gives you a lot of confidence, doesn't it? makes the offensive players, they feel good about what's going on, and it gives confidence to that play caller. That's just as important. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And the give now to Ray Rice. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. Guys, I got a chance to speak with Joe Flacco this week. And guys, he's coming off an impressive performance just last week. He said, there's nothing I love more as a receiver than catching a touchdown pass. So to have a big week like that meant a lot. I just hope I can do it again this week. That's all from down here, guys. Back up to you. Looking down the field. Tip away. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback read his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. Smith lined up in the slot. Third down and six. Throws the pass. That catch, good for a first down. That play is good for a Ravens first down. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts.
Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Nice tackle. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Flacco's going to take it from the gun. Trying to work that left side. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches. Running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. First down and 10. And Rice is the ball is out. And the defense has it. So we've got a young quarterback with some experience stepping onto the field today for the first time. They come to the line, and it's first down. They're setting up screen. And that's a gain of 10. Here's the Bills offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Lined up in the pistol formation. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. Jumps up and comes down with it. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here after the completion. Running back gets it on the handoff. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Looking for an open receiver on the right. A takeaway. Good piece of tackle. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run. And also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Defense now is going to go nickel. Now first and ten. Rice breaks out of that one. They get to him just in time. One yard shy of the first down. Well, you got to have the draw play in your game or a delay. You know what that does? It fools the defense. And anytime you fool the defense, you usually get good games. is lined up in a single back formation eyeing that left side and complete they've got him down there well if you want to be a good play action pass team it's always nice to have a good running game 
make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it. You throw it down the field. That That's that's about as easy as it gets. First and ten. Handoff to Ray Rice. Five-yard total. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. Slashes to the left side. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. Pittas move from the tight end position to the slot. Blacko standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Can't hold on. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. <laughs> Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. And the extra point is good. Ravens getting set to kick it away. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. <laughs> First down, offense ready for the snap. From the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Brought down. Picks up the first as he's tackled at the 35. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. One more play before the quarter expires. Handoff out of the eye formation for 14. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The Bills lined up in the pistol. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Second down and six. Running to his right. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Now third and four following the run. Out of the shotgun formation. The Bills now move the chains. Now to about the 33. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, 
not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. The Bills will approach this play from out of the pistol. First and ten, play action. Loads it up, it's going deep. And it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Play number six Let's coming up on this drive. Right there, right there, right. Second and ten. Play action. The throw to the left. He has the grab. Good job by the offense. Get another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field that defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. Long gain sets them up here on this play. They'll run it. Here's the handoff for a gain of about five. Well, if you're a good running back, when there's not a lot there, you find a way to make some extra yards. Here in the red zone, it's even more important. Second down. Right back to him one more time. Number 30 with the carry. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Now this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. Oh, my gosh. He should have scored that time. Gets tackled inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if the offense is good enough to push it in. Goal. They run the counter play, and he's in for the touchdown. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. Bills will tie it up with this extra point. The point after try is in the books. Balls on the tee. Got a tie game now. The scores seven to seven. And he'll start his return. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. And Rice is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and 10. Throws to the right. Inhales the pass. Breaks the tackle. He steps out. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Joe Clacco will take it right from the center. On second and one as they go ground here. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it. But what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football, too. Yeah. 
They're able to move the chains after that last run. Back to the ground. A tackle behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Ray Rice lined up in the backfield, looks to his left, brings it into his body. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. After that last reception, they are still eight yards away from a first. Third and eight coming up. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep throwing it behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. He's going to try his luck here. Gains 13. <laughs> up in the pistol formation first and ten working that left side the bills get a first down that time the pass is completed into double coverage jim but the quarterback made a bad read but these receivers they are so good nowadays that time in double coverage he went up and made the catch it's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. First and ten. Goodwin's taking the handoff. Brought down at the 41-yard line. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. We're moving in on the two-minute warning. One more snap first. He stacked up at that point. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Setting up in the pistol on this play. It's a second and four. Going across the middle, right on the money. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. The Bills come out in the pistol. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. Bills in for the score. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. Extra point is good. Bills ready to put this one down the field. He's got a chance to return this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23.
Ray Rice lined up in the backfield. Tight ends in motion here. Flacco will take it from the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He's going to be tackled right around the 49. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And incomplete. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. And now they'll try over again on second down. Flacco from the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. And he was wide open. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Let's see how they back up the big play here. And the give now to Ray Rice. Games. 16. The Ravens are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Flacco is going to take the snap from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. <laughs> Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. The defense comes out of the nickel. Tight end in motion. Goes back in shotgun formation. The flag is down. The defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. Nickel formation for the defense here. Second down, 14. Going to go draw. The tackle is made. The Ravens use another timeout here, and they have one left. Smith's in the slot. Blacko's got it in the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. He's in for the touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Ravens getting set for the extra point. It's good. The Bills await the kick as the game has been tied here late in the second quarter. Scores 14 to 14. They're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Bills line up in the pistol offense. First and 10. Got a little screen set up here. Fifth this time, it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. Oh. 
lined up in the pistol Let's formation. Go. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Knocked away. It could play. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. The Bills in the pistol. Out of the shotgun. And pass batted down incomplete. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver, disrupt his rhythm, Disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Bills getting set to try for the field goal. An empty possession for the offense. And he just couldn't find the mark on what was a very long kick in the first place. Look, that was definitely not a gimme, and you got to look at it. it. Takes a perfect snap, hold, and a kick, and they just missed it. This will be the last play before halftime. First and ten. Looking long to Torrey Smith. It's intercepted! So that's it for the second quarter. Halftime is coming up. We'll have a little first half analysis as we continue on EA Sports after this. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Tackle right at about the 28 yard line. Goodwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. They'll run it off the toss. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. If you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First and ten. Back to the ground now on first down. Met at the 40-yard line. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out? Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Oh, nice job. That cornerback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bills team official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Third down now. Ball is caught. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. After the long game, let's see what they do here. To the ground here. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. The Bills will go with Let's the go. pistol on this play. Here it's a second and ten. Gets it again here. 
And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Now the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you can do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with the run. We'll find out. They beat him the ball again. And he's brought to the ground. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? down here after the run staying on the ground James it across the goal line for the touchdown Just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. The point after is good. Bills ready to put this one down the field. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Smith's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First down and 10. They feed the running back to the 25. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. They send the tight end in motion. Flacco will take it from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Muscles through the defender. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Rice. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. The Ravens bring in an extra tight end for this play. And he's going to be tackled right around the 43. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? Smith lined up in the slot. Now first and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. 
Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Second down coming up. Handoff to Ray Rice. Ray Rice lined up in the backfield. Third and seven. Throws to the right. Flacco to his tight end, Pitta. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. And Rice is handed the football. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and ten. Sticks to his hands. He's tackled at the 28. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. So that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. The Baltimore Ravens now lining up for a field goal. It converts on the three. Well, Jim, I know if you were coach, you'd probably be happy settling for the field goal, but not me. I want touchdowns. Take some more chances and get it done. Ravens getting set to kick it away. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Bills lined up in the pistol. First and ten. It's the old counter play. In on the stop. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. That leads us to second down. The give to the running back. They pounce on him there. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. The Bills' offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. Now third and four following the run. He's looking long. What a catch down the middle of the field. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Here's the first snap after the big play. They'll go shotgun here. And he hauls it in. Games 19. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. He dives into the end zone for the score. You 
want to make your coach happy, have the lead and have your offense just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. The Bills with the PAT to come. Extra point is good. The Ravens' return team is ready. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Nickel formation here for the defense. Flacco from the shotgun, looking to the right side and throwing. He's brought down. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Second and sixth, and the give now to Ray Rice. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner, knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. Johnson's in the slot. Tight ends in motion here. The formation here, shotgun. Challenging the defenders to the right side, very nearly intercepted. Well, the quarterback's buried on the play, and he throws it in completion. As QB had no chance, Jim, that time. No chance. The offensive line just has to keep the defenders off the quarterback a little longer. Johnson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and ten. Trying to work that left side. <laughs> Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. They complete the pass, but still not enough for the first. Third down coming up. Flacco's going to take it from the gun. He makes the catch. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. This punt will be returned. Out to the 23. <laughs> to the line of scrimmage first down toss to the outside that brings the play to an end you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive so you have to run the football every once in a while that run even though it was a short game it served a purpose after running it it's second down takes it from the eye they've got him behind the line of scrimmage how about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. The Ravens with a nickel look here on defense. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Almost intercepted. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, 
all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. They're set to punt it away now. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. Johnson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Blacko standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Looking for an open receiver on the right. He's brought to a halt. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards. So... That's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Johnson's lined up in the slot. Second down and four. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Just had to avoid the sack. It's complete. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are. Or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Ray Rice lined up in the backfield. Third and four. Throws to the right. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. Tight end in motion. Blacko's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Looks around, and he's thrown to the ground. Well, if your offensive line is not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Ray Rice lined up in the backfield. Blacko will take it from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. They send the tight end in motion. Blacko from the shotgun. Eyeing that left side. Strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. First and ten, out of the eye. The give to the tailback. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Play fake here, looking for a receiver on the left side here. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Three, three. 
the Bills will approach this play from out of the pistol. Second and ten. The throw to the left. Easy catch there. No one near him. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football? Good call that time by the offense. First and ten. The give. Running to the right. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. First down, following the long play. Staying with the running game on first down. That's a timeout by the defense. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Looking across the middle, the ball's deflected and complete. The offense needs six yards here on third down after that incompletion. Third and six coming up. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Going to be a tackle for a loss. The Ravens come out in the nickel. Out of the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The pass is intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Now on first down. Flacco's back in shotgun formation. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. Well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing. When that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. First and ten. The Ravens now move the chains. Pittas move from the tight end position to the slot. And he's forced to the ground. This satisfying defensive replay is brought to you by Snickers. Hungry for victory? Snickers satisfies. Flacco's got it in the gun. Flacco flings it way down the field. Incomplete. Defense comes out of the nickel. Flacco's going to take it from the gun. The defense gets the sack. With about a minute to go, they're going to need every break possible. First, they must score on this possession. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Receiver on the right. That's an interception. On his way. 
He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. No stopping him, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Well, on defense, to make a play like this, so much of it is about timing. Perfect timing by the defensive player. Gets the interception and runs it all the way back for a touchdown. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown. The field, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out that one point comes back to haunt them. They face first down. They'll go ground. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. The Ravens call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. And second down coming up. Hand off. They bring him to the turf. Bad job by the defense. They know if they give up a first down, the game is probably over. They get pulled and they give it up. Probably why they're going to lose. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Takes the knee. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays, but we've come to an end, and what a game it was. Well, they came in off a win, and they get another one here today. Hey, two weeks in a row, Jim. You play good football. You win. That's a lot of positive reinforcement. You feel good about what you're doing, and there's no way you think you'll lose the following week. Oh, my gosh, what a play by the defense. They time it right, they get the interception, and they take it all the way back for the touchdown. Nobody in offense was able to make the tackle. Great job by the defense. For Phil Simpson and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.